In this video, I'll quickly show you how to make a kaleidoscope effect with videos. So I simply find the video I want to use in the media browser and then I can drag and drop it into the mixing screen. Here I'll use the target frame size of YouTube HD. To get the kaleidoscope effect, I'm going to resize my video using the second properties. When I click on the icon, the second properties window will appear. To create the kaleidoscope effect, I want all my videos to have the same frame size. So I'll use the zoom presets by right clicking on the zoom slider. Here I'll select set to half size and then use the grab feature on the vertical and horizontal offset sliders to position my video in the top right hand corner. Once placed, I will exit the segment properties. I'll now highlight the segment and select copy segment and underneath I'll paste it a further three times. I'll now click on the segment properties icon for the second video segment and I will use the horizontal offset slider to position the video in the right hand corner. I can always see where I'm placing it in relation to the first video using the play bar and the video output screen. I can also click on the vertical and horizontal offset sliders and use the left, right, up, down buttons on your keyboard for precision placement. Finally, I'll click on the horizontal flip button to flip the image. And I'll press close. So now I'll move on and click on the segment properties for the third video segment. I'll place my image in the bottom left hand corner. And I'll click on the vertical flip button. And I'll click close. Finally, I'll click on the segment properties of my last segment. And position it in the bottom right hand corner. I'll also click on the vertical and horizontal flip buttons. When happy, I'll click close. I can now click play to see the kaleidoscope effect. Squad. You can also do this with photos. You can also export this and use it in another mix or select the segments using the auto selection tool. Then I can group them together and copy and paste them into a mix you're already working on.